Okay folks, so we are back in the house, taking some Q&A on the stuff that we've just been talking about. So if you weren't here for the first round, we were just talking about spiritual attainment and avoiding the pitfalls, okay? So are there any questions that you would like to ask me about this subject? Now is the time to do that. If you're not following, go ahead and do that too. And don't forget to share it on with your community. That would be the previous broadcast to this one. Hey Morgan, my darling, how are you doing this morning? So um, we talked about that um, spiritual attainment is very much a problem in our word right now. Turning inward as in meditation, it can be meditation. And there is a little bit of confusion about that too. And I spoke about this on the Amit Kaint show when I was in England. Um, it seems to be like a very classic approach in terms of meditation, whereby what you do is you close your eyes, you focus on the candle, or you chant some incantations, or you focus on your breath, which is all wonderful, but it's not always for everybody, right? Is there is there anyone who can't do the classic style of meditation? Because, because I'm actually one of those people. Yeah, you've always had a hard time, right? So um, in the case of myself, with like the Fusion 7 Healing Truth School approaches, we call them... Um, um, transformation processes so that way the mind has something to focus on yeah either um, some words or some visions or it's kind of guided they're guided processes thanks very much so um, there are very many ways of doing it it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go into that classic mode of silence because there are many ways to go into silence okay we can actually go into silence by, you know, and this is what I said to Amit on the Amit Kainth show in UK. You can go into your silence by dancing to really loud music. Hey Africa, what's going on? Um, shout out to you from the southern coast in Cyprus in the Mediterranean. The processes I did with you are very effective. Yeah, you see, so you need something more sort of perhaps structured to focus on to help you zone. For some other people, perhaps, it could be getting on the treadmill or going for a run. You can become quite meditative in those places and spaces. It can happen through your dream time. It can happen through, um, you know, the structured um, metaphysical approaches that we do in Fusion 7 Healing Truth School and that I share on live broadcasts, yeah? So um, there are many ways of doing, of doing that. There are many ways to go within, to seek what you need to seek out, which is in fact what's always been, okay? So yeah, it is. Why, does it not look real? It's my hair. <laughs> I do it when I work out. Yeah, me too, you know? When I jump on the elliptical or on the treadmill, you know, I get into that kind of, that zone place and it really does take you within. So, you know, the classic sort of yogic mode of silence isn't everyone's deal. Do you know what I mean? And that is okay. So um, when you see like all the postings on social media of the way that it should be done and, or must be done, don't be pressured by that, okay? Always follow your own unique way of doing it. And in Fusion 7 Truth School, like classes and retreats, I'm always saying that to the students, you know, always saying to them that, you know, you know, guys, always find your own way of doing this thing. It doesn't have to be done, you know, the old school classic paradigm way. There's loads of, way of do ways of doing it and just honor your own way of doing it. You know, it's really important to do that. So are there any other questions about that? What about the need to attain like a higher state of consciousness? Are you, is anybody sort of like burning with that need in order to do that? You're very welcome, my darling. Is anyone burning with that need to do that, that you must get to this kind of a higher place? If you do, then you, you want to kind of um, do a little bit of a reverse with that, you know? Hey, Bernie, what's up, darling? How are you doing? Yes. Yes for you, Andriana. Right. So try and change your perspective of the way that you think about that okay instead of saying i've got to you know attain enlightenment for example you're much more um you're going to benefit much more gratefully by saying to yourself i just need to shed the excess excess stimulation things that are untruth that's why what i teach is all about immutable truths okay when we understand the immutable truths 
crawling into bed for the night. All right, Bernie, take care of yourself. Thanks for nipping in. You can always watch replay or catch it on my YouTube channel, Helen Christodoulou. Ciao for now. Have a sweet night. So, um, yes, it's about retrieving the truth that's within and not trying to attain something. That's the difference. Okay. And there really is a great difference. You're very welcome. Take care for now. So um, it's not about trying to get to that higher place. It's about trying to get back to absolute truth that's already within. What's up, Nicole? Thanks for coming in, darling. And we are always trying to identify to these labels, you know, like people coming in and saying, am I an indigo? Am I a Pleiadian? Am I, you know, am I Jesus? Am I Cleopatra? <laughs> am I a light worker? You know, I have totally cancelled and deleted all of these labels. Do you know what I mean? Cancel them. Cancel them. Stop t trying to identify with something, you know. You are far greater than that and far smaller than that, you know. I see so much of that stuff and Ascended Masters too. Yes, right? So um, be careful with all of these labels. Like they kind of make me cringe a little bit. Do you know what I mean, you know? We're just all people here just trying to do the best we can do, offer the best we can offer, be of service, you know, doesn't resonate with you either, doesn't resonate with me either. So um, be of service, do the best that you can do and just um, um, brush ourselves off of all of the, all of the Maya, all of the illusion, all of, all of the lies that we have been spoon fed either by spirituality or by politics or I don't know what, you know, it could be absolutely anything actually. So we need to sort of like dust all of that off of us, do you know what I mean? And go into the truth, and truth resides within. And of course, like I said, there is guidance on the outside, the matrix, absolutely. But just make sure that what you are um, following and listening to, that it really does have some coherence to something deep inside of the self. And that is the most important message, you know coherence to what it is that is deep inside of the self okay so this is what you want to to look for don't try to attain anything just try to find something that matches and shedding letting go of releasing the crap you know that's why you follow me and that's why I follow you and it's not so much about following it's about um community that resonates okay and so that we can all grow together and um, get rid of the dense frequencies from our electromagnetic fields from our minds from our souls and from our spirits ain't that right morgan yeah absolutely so guys if you don't have any other questions i'm gonna exit this transmission so final questions I'll wait up for just another um, moment or two. Um, my book is available on um, Amazon. You are the only one that I have learned from. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, Morgan. <laughs> well, I, I am honoured. Um, there are, the, there are, of course, other amazing um, people that are here to guide you back to your own truth, right? And that's what's important here. It's about if you are getting guidance or teachings from the outside, make sure that it happens in a way where it's really open, that you are guided back to your own truth and that you are not being molded into something that you're not. OK, don't have that from anybody because um, then that that is not a true um, guidance person or a true teacher. And a true teacher is someone I always say that remains a pupil as well. So teacher is not some, somebody that's higher than you, yeah? We're always learning from each other and we're always teaching each other too. So make sure that there's both sides of the equation in there. Otherwise, it does actually become hierarchical, you know? Spiritual teacher or whatever, esoteric teacher, does then become um, somebody who thinks that they are... Um, somebody who is better than you and, and that's a load of bull crap okay so uh, you're always going to get the truth here this is the truth channel and so um, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys because um, catch will not be in so much use anymore everything is going over to youtube so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel helen christodoulou okay 
So um, anything else before I exit the room? Check it out. Yes, please do. Everything is up there. And there are also things that are up there that are not on live streaming also. Okay, so um, a lot more emphasis is going on to the YouTube channel. You're welcome, Adriana. Hope you are well, my darling. Thank you guys for coming in. Don't forget to share it on. And um, our next transmission will be on Monday morning at a similar time, okay, similar time to, to now. You're very welcome. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day or evening or afternoon, whichever part of the timeline and the world that you are at. And um, I will catch you again at the same time Monday morning. Be here or be square. May truth be always be the guiding force that is with you. I must then be ye. Thank you and uh, have a great weekend. Ciao for now.